So, hi. Good evening. Good evening. Am I speaking to? Is it Rajni or Rajni? How do I Raj- pronounce it? Rajni. 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 Okay. Welcome to today's session. And um, are we meeting for the first time? Yes, for the right. first time. Okay, so you're speaking to Rini Rose. That's my name. It's there on the screen, and uh, I'm speaking to you from Tamil Nadu, um, from a place called Madurai, and uh, I'm professionally a language trainer and also an author. That is about me. Would you like to introduce yourself? Okay. Sorry. My name is Rajni Verma, and I am from Rajasthan, Sri Ganga Nagar, and right. currently I'm living in Jaipur. for my preparation and i have done my graduation in korean language from jnu uh, right. yeah that's it and okay so that i want to tell you is like i really wanted to have a session with you and i am one of your subscribers and i watched your a lot of videos on youtube and a lot of conversations but i didn't found find any free slot and today it's like after uh, i have only three sessions left and after that my oh, subscription okay. is going to end oh okay fine i'm so happy that you are my subscriber and now you're a learner on clapping all so great to meet you yeah um, right so do you have any questions before i begin today's session anything to con- any any special concern no no i don't have okay. right so we'll have a conversation and after that i'll give you the feedback yeah right okay so today's topic is irrational fear yes irrational yes. fear so have you ever experienced irrational fear something that you cannot describe explain any such kind of fear that you've experienced in life experienced is not like that i have irrational fear of uh, like i have hydrophobia uh, okay. Yeah. okay so you know that you're scared of water and um, you're not okay you're not comfortable right mm, right yeah. okay so um have you talked about this fear to anyone no never <laughs> okay so um generally uh, why do you think people experience fear like yours is okay hydrophobia which is like many people ex- uh, have got that fear but why do you think generally people experience fear in spite of knowing that it's created it's all in the mind and all that uh because uh, maybe someone have that experience in past journey or maybe okay. because of uh, dreams also because dreams. that yeah that uh, occurs in our mind and we i think our subconscious mind somewhere it believes like it happening with me and yeah I it's think. going to happen it's a kind of premonition where uh, it gives you all this hallucinating or imaginary feeling yeah. that it's going to happen with you dream with is yes that's that's something that can really uh, guide you in the wrong direction yeah I, even i have uh, sometimes dream of really a uh, water a lot of water and kind of tsunami <laughs> that's why i have uh, that fear i think fear is there oh yes 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 dreams can misguide definitely okay so now i'm going to show you a word i'm going to show you some words okay what is this word i hope you school? can see school yes school so tell me two things that you miss from your school days two things i miss that you miss it's like you were doing it or you were so happy with it and now you really miss mm-hmm. uh, those activities or those events or people yeah, whatever yeah, yeah. uh you know i am from uh, jn we like i have done my schooling in jawar navodaya vidyalaya so there are a lot of things that i miss even everyone who uh done their studies in jnv they miss definitely even after 12th we got really uh, uh tears in our eyes and you know uh because there we find uh, teachers are our parents 
as our parents and friends or uh, as a family so that okay. is really a biggest thing for me that i really miss because after that we i uh, didn't found, find any uh, friend that much close and we were like a family mm-hmm. there and okay. we used to play in the evening and we used to get up early in the morning like we had a schedule for the long uh, day long yeah so that is okay. really even that is in me right now also i am really a uh you know a punctual person because of that okay right right so it set the discipline the basic discipline in your yeah. life you evolved and also it's very important like when you learn you need to have good bond good relationship because that helps you to mingle very well with the society with other people also so you got the base from there and that is why you felt that there were family it was a it was something yes. that you never had later yeah. in life right yeah okay. even i i was in uh, navodaya in shri gangnagar but whenever a navodayan meets from anywhere in india it's like a uh, something that is like really uh, close to heart right okay okay that's great okay tell me all that comes to your mind when you see this word age hmm somewhere it's of fear also <laughs> i have uh, seen a lot of people are talking about age after that this corona like 2020 and 21 22 uh, flies like oh my god i am some stuck somewhere it feels like so stuck somewhere yeah. okay. that comes it's, first it's all about the year the year 2020 even i have heard people saying i just didn't want 2020 in my life but there are people who say say that um, i wanted 2020 because it made me a better person with good better experience i was able to discover myself so perceptions okay so that's what comes to your mind what is this word hope hope how do you find hope in the most disastrous or challenging situations disastrous challenging situations of life like uh, if any challenging situation i anything any hardship any trial generally how do you find hope because do- some situations could drown you and you may feel that you are sinking you're going to sink so how do you find hope in such situations how do you uh, stay in the right spirit okay like somewhere i fa- i think i am a little bit of spiritual person and inclined towards that so somewhere i talk to universe let uh, please guide me something please like i am in that situation and what i need to do and for okay. and uh, then it happens with me like i find somewhere a message or a comment somewhere like related to my situation that everything is okay let it be be in that moment and after that it will be fine take some time and then it's fine so it's really nice like uh, okay if you got something from the universe directly so yeah okay okay so if you get something from the universe yes. so if, if yeah if you get some so a conversation with the universe and it conspires for all your aspirations right it meets fine so uh, i i remember you telling me that i can recollect you telling me that uh, you have uh, graduated in the korean language um, mm-hmm. so which means that you are a lover of languages yes you like learning new languages okay so yes. now i have this next word that is english and english, english. as you know is a universal a global language and we have access to diff- different platforms several experts and lot of things are happening now specifically after the lockdown mm-hmm. the learning process itself has changed where so many people are benefiting from it still why do you feel why do you think that people are finding it difficult to speak or learn this language in spite of all the resources because i think resources uh, enough resources but uh, somewhere we are like uh, doing that to input a lot but what about okay. output like people are watching giving the input but no output okay no output. yeah okay. watching videos reading but uh, if you want to speak then you have to speak so that right. is i think somewhere missing yeah so that is lacking or maybe as you said like fear is there fear of speaking fear yes. of speaking is there hesitation reluctance all these things are playing in the mind of different people okay can you make a sentence beginning with the word if if mhm if i 
go to market i will buy some presents for you okay nice that's great okay so the next word that i have is add so if you get a chance to add two qualities to your life mm-hmm. to improve the quality of your life if you get mm-hmm. two chance if you get a chance to add two qualities to make your life better what would those be first is meditation i want to start meditation meditation you want to start meditating begin meditation yeah. okay yeah okay, yeah first okay. thing and second thing is like uh, go to early uh, go to bed early like i have that oh. but sometimes i miss like it's not consistent it's not consistent okay so you want to keep at it so that yeah. you develop that discipline also uh, how does it help a person going to bed early and meditation how do you right think now, it helps honestly like this book is helping me atomic habits atomic habits is a very good book tiny okay. changes yeah yeah i'm doing that yeah. now okay fine fine so following those guidelines right so i'll give you the feedback um i feel that you're quite confident when you're speaking it's not just the english i'm sure that you're quite confident when you speak so mm-hmm. confidence with speech is great and um, here and there you're making mistakes but not major errors like plural singular uh, sometimes using the wrong tense but that comes rarely um if you listen to the session again i think you'll be able to identify with your mistake you just have to keep practicing uh, and work on your vocabulary because enhancing your vocabulary will help you uh, being a lover of languages it will be very easy for you yes. you would have got all the techniques you just have to put that into english and help yourself apart from that it's fine keep practicing and of course uh, focus when you're speaking because when you try to coordinate your thought with the sentence structure it's possible and it's human that you miss out on the simple words connectives prepositions and the whole meaning changes mm-hmm. right yes. you don't get a chance to proofread and edit when you write it's easy but when you speak it should yeah. be spontaneous that's one thing and another thing is when you focus i think it's going to be fine and keep learning new words use it in your conversation okay. input with output as you said yes yeah. okay so any questions anything that you have to clarify no like how to uh, command on uh, accent like uh, some tutors uh, suggested me like uh, said me like i have a native like hindi or marwadi accent mixed with english so uh, that's not that? very prominent like when i'm i'm listening to you now it's not very predominant it's not too protruding in the sense where i can say there is mother tongue interference i didn't feel so today maybe they felt it in the other sessions but okay. if you feel that it's coming in between if you feel that it's interfering with your speech mm-hmm. uh give importance to pronunciation not accent first because today there are a lot of people giving importance to accent accent, accent is mistook for pronunciation it's okay. mistook you know that there is a kind of uh ignorance th- that's happening people don't mm-hmm. know the difference between accent and pronunciation so when you pronounce a word you articulate it better so it okay. could be uh, it's like you know suppose you're telling a uh, station you're clear with the pronunciation it's not station or station where it is where you have the mother tongue interference but accent is your choice it just adds beauty and of course you feel that you get confidence but work on the pronunciation and then go for the accent or do it simultaneously okay so your articulation itself will help you develop your own accent you know where you stress on the word you articulate it okay, okay. and uh, there is a kind of flow with your speech and then you can shift to the whatever accent you want american british canadian or whatever australian new zealand whatever whatever you want to shift yeah so okay. it's a pronunciation that helps you to overcome the mother tongue interference yeah okay okay so that was the only question i have for you i had okay. for you yeah i had for you right <laughs> yeah okay that's good somewhere it happens with me like i speak instantly and then i realize like i it happens I with me also it happens with everyone but uh see there is nothing known as perfect language we all make mistakes even the best authors and the stalwarts make mistakes but you should be able to understand that you have made a mistake mm-hmm. it's like the near perfection there is there is nothing known as perfect language but yes. you speak with 
minimum errors so that people mm-hmm. can understand you so that you're okay with the sentences that you're okay with the grammar and you're not going to get mixed up so that is the purpose yeah. with, with minimum errors in mm-hmm. such a way that you communicate effectively effectively with the appropriate words yeah okay yeah so it was so nice talking to you me. and it yeah. is very nice talking to you same here same here I'm i had so, a good time i booked some of sessions with you but i think you were some busy and you shifted somewhere yes yes yeah. i have my own small platform where people uh, wanted to get trained you know for language counseling and things like that so i was a bit busy with that and that's mm-hmm. why i had to cancel a couple of sessions from here and there but now it's okay i'm on track i will be here on clapping go <laughs> but the my my subscription is going to it's end going so. to get over but i'm happy that i met today that yeah, we met today I'm, and had a good yeah, conversation same. great thank you so much for joining me bye bye thank you bye bye bye